and that's all he's doing. This Ryan Garcia thing is a load of horse crap and it's low hanging marketing. What's up guys? I'm gonna give you a hot take on Ryan Garcia. We've been seeing a lot of things go through this man's head and he's being very vocal about some controversial topics but in this video we're gonna kind of we're gonna kind of pick through all the pieces of things that's going on here and see if it's legit and see if Ryan Garcia is crazy or if he's going through something that's real and he's this is a cry for help or if it's all Fugazi let's get into it the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a couple of his latest videos and then we'll talk about it here we go they literally have been trying to make it seem like I'm mentally ill mentally ill when I'm speaking on things which endanger children children babies that are innocent babies I, I swear I feel like I'm in the movie don't look up I, I, I literally feel like I'm in the movie don't look up okay I had to stop it right there for a second somebody just commented you're lost Ryan in the comments and he labeled them a devil worshiper does Ryan have specific information on this person or is he throwing that word out a little too easy now in his mind he may be thinking well there's either like Cat Williams said you're either on God's side or the other side and Ryan feels he's on God's side so anybody that opposes him thinks different than him you know there's people like that in the world in all religions where not even just religions just perspective if somebody disagrees with them or they think something that's different than what they're being told they want to label label you an evil person because inside they don't think that they're evil that was an unfair slam from ryan garcia to whoever commented somebody was trying to be empathetic toward him and he slammed him called him a devil worshiper and attacked him now that's not very christian like and it's not very which ryan garcia claims to be a christian so that's not very christian like let's continue you know sometimes you got to just let god god lead what are you guys mad about like because I'm exposing these people because prime drinks really cause problems. They're, they're he just said, because I'm exposing people. Is that why you're mad? He hasn't exposed anybody. This is another problem I have with the whole Ryan Garcia debacle. He keeps putting out these ominous messages without pinpointing anything or anyone. It's obvious stuff. We all know there's evil things going on in the world. We all know that there's evil people in this world. We all know that there's evil people that gather to do evil things together in this world. We already know that. Ryan is not telling us anything new. He is just being ominous. I may as well tell you what my opinion is right here. I think this is marketing at low-hanging fruit. This is trying to get the attention of the most easily manipulated people in the world and i don't want to call them dumb because you can be smart and still be able to be very easily manipulated and ryan he's hanging with the upper echelons in this world and the upper echelons they know how to market they know sociology they know how to manipulate the masses and they know how to get attention and be controversial and that's all he's doing. All he's doing is being controversial without giving out specific information. So he's not really going to piss off anybody. He is going after Prime right now. But, okay, let's use our brain for a second. Prime? He's going after Prime. Why would he do that? Oh, maybe because the owner of Prime is a boxer that has a following you know, if he triggers Logan Paul and Jake Paul, I think he's going after mostly Logan right now. If he triggers Logan Paul, 
that's low hanging fruit. It's easy money. Ryan's a real boxer. Logan Paul is not. And if he could set up a fight with Logan Paul, all Logan's Paul's followers are going to purchase the pay-per-view. All Ryan's followers are going to purchase the pay-per-view. It's money. It comes down to money. So he's preaching Satan this, Satan that, the devil this, the devil that. But what he's really doing is he's manipulating everybody using this weird strategy, talking about little kids getting, you know, getting inappropriate things done to them in front of him. He's lying. He's saying things like he was tied up and forced to watch kids get, you know, in the forest. Come on, dude. Get real. If that really happened, <laughs> this is so dumb. Uh, I don't even know why I'm on here having to explain this to people. It's so, it's like dollar store psychology. You know what I mean? I know that following a narrative is fun and having mystery is fun, but this is too dumb. It's too dumb. People that are biting on this, come on, guys. Some of you in the comments are going to be like, Oh, you don't know. It's real. It's out there. You don't think kids are getting this and kids are getting that. And he's just trying to expose. He ain't doing nothing about it. He isn't giving away names. He isn't do being proactive about it. He's saying they'll go after his family. But if they're going to go after your family, if you drop certain information, why talk about it at all, dumb dumb? The smart people aren't buying this. I'm sorry, guys. The smart people aren't buying it. He's given away too many clues that this is BS. Anybody that can use critical thinking will put the pieces together. So he's going after hot topics. Ooh, Hollywood's evil. So he's kind of biting off of like Andrew Tate's thing, uh, Cat Williams thing. Is it a coincidence that he's like poorly biting off of this shortly after Cat Williams and Andrew Tate? have spoke about it is it is it coincidence or and some of you are going to be like well maybe something's going on yeah well something has always gone on always before you were born before i was born before we were born hundreds thousands of years before we were born things were going on like this so you can count on it anywhere that's like saying oh i'm angry people are getting murdered right now Right now, on planet Earth, people are getting murdered. And I'm going to expose it. I'm going to expose it. There's people getting murdered. Yeah, that sounds real passionate and like I'm doing something. But really, I'm giving no information. I'm just transferring an emotion and an idea. And that's all he's doing. This Ryan Garcia thing is a load of horse crap. And it's low hanging marketing it's he's a bottom feeder of marketing he is not good at doing what he's trying to do and what he's trying to do is what the higher echelons do to manipulate the masses you are seeing the wish version of high intellect sociology that's all this is I don't even feel like I have to show you any more videos. Just when you watch Ryan Garcia's videos, listen, he's not giving any information. All he's saying is this is existing and I'm exposing it, but he has not exposed anything. And the only people he's actually tied something to is other another boxer that he will likely be able to beat because... He's not a real boxer. And even if they don't set up a boxing match, what this does is it shares their followers. Since Ryan Garcia is talking about Prime and Logan Paul, all Logan Paul's followers are going to pay attention to this and be like, whoa, what the heck's going on? Because we like drama. People love drama. That's why they're, the news exists. That's why YouTube exists. There's a problem, and we want to know about it. We want to know how it's going to be solved. It's a load of horse crap. Do you guys really believe this stuff? Come on. 
Anyway, I think that's enough for this video. If you like the content, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about all this. Hit that like button and ring the bell so you are notified the next time I put out an awesome hot take on MMA Flicks and Chill. Chris, out. Chill. Thank you for kicking in with MMA Flicks and Chill. Chill. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring